Now, newly elected GFA president Keto Kreko is still in a celebratory mood, but the Dreams FC founder has an enormous job on his hands to rejuvenate the image of Ghana football after its collapse following the damaging corruption expose in June 2018. So all eyes will be on his administration to focus on rebuilding the brand and getting the funds back as they are supporting best. This report is by Thierry Nyan, who looks at the way forward after his election. As if the rigors of the elections were not enough, the Ghana Football Association's new president, Keto Kriku, will now have to immediately turn the focus on fixing the brand that was almost left to rot in the last couple of years. His ideas and plans for the local game, documented in his manifesto, will be as crucial as what may not be black ink in his campaign promises. He has to immediately begin executing the promises he made to Ghanaian football hearts while ensuring that match officials act in the most accountable manner after the disgrace in the number 12 expose. But these are only a few of the issues facing Keto Kriku. The complexity of the job that awaits not just Ket, but the entire administrative body of the new GFA is cosmic. 11 members were elected into the executive council, including seasoned football club controller Randy Abe, having acted in several capacities in previous administrations. Randy will insist it's all hands on deck as a new era begins. We have no choice. I mean, people want to see things done differently, and we have to deliver on that mandate. There's no doubt about that. Well, he's the right man, and the delegates have chosen him. He's the right man, and uh, he will lead Ghana football for the next four years. He's somebody I've known for about 20 years. I mean, we go way back. Uh, and um, I think that he has, he has what it takes to, to, to lead the team, uh, to deliver on, on, on the mandate. Now the major stakeholders can say they have their football back in their hands. They clamored for this. Not all who contested for the various positions got it, but they have their old pet family within their grips and need to help us all forget the rot we experienced for a good decade under the old administration. As much as it is a time to build, it is also an opportune time to unite. The football chiefs must come together for the greater good and Kurt must elect himself as the unifier. The new GFA boss must attach the required level of commitment to this as he will do to improve the systems and most commonly heard from all the candidates, especially him, grassroots development.